Hi, it's Keisha Dent, a certified mindset hypnotist, and I hope you're enjoying your summer. And it is summer giveaway time, okay? Yeah, so um, we are giving away a book and card set. So if you know anything about me, about myself, I love to read, I love to write, I love to learn about myself, about self-growth, and I love my cards, okay? And so I put together a little, a, just a little set that is, consists of uh, my book, which is Life Change Now, and also a card deck by Danielle Malin called the Decoding Your Fear Guidance Deck, which is awesome. I re really enjoy mine. And so we're gonna do this little giveaway and it's all is so if you are at all pay attention to anything that i talk about or put out i'm always constantly talking about about our thoughts about overcoming negative thoughts overcoming self-sabotage overcoming the inner critic imposter syndrome all that stuff so at the base of all of that information is of course what fear fear of the unknown fear of the very change that we most want to bring into our lives so this book and this card deck are awesome tools to help you at home to be able to bring about the change that you want. So I want to give that away in a little set and it's super, super easy in order to enter. So first let's talk about what you're going to, to win, right? So the first thing is of course my book, okay? Life Change Now. And this book is all about uh, really why it's important things about why your sense of self-identity is everything when it comes to really creating what you want It's about how the one superpower that you must learn to use to really create the life that you want and how to do it Which big hit it's all about the magic and the power of your mind And it's also about why your relationship to change is so important how that how can you can use that to create magic in your life How to stop destructive habits uh, you, Unwanted habits to start new ones with an easier and more powerful method than pure willpower. We, we kind of know at this point that willpower uh, doesn't really work that well, right? Okay, so um, that is life change now. Okay, it's just in three steps and how to how to change what you're you're doing. And also, of course, we have the decoding your fear a guidance deck by uh, Danielle Malin. And uh, as you can see, this deck is awesome. I, I love the color of it. I, I I'm a sucker for pink, but also it has wonderful, wonderful messages about how to disrupt whenever you are trying to um, overcome self-sabotaging behavior, getting stuck in, in unhealthy loops, how to move forward past that, how to actually be able to get, you know, see your own, your own BS whenever you're running into it so that you can disrupt it. And these cards are really, really good to really reflect on your behavior so that you can break unwanted destructive habits and move forward. Okay. So this book and this card deck is what we're giving away. Okay, all right. So the deadline is i'm going to actually put the deadline here on the screen okay you want to really get that in um, by then to get it in and also when we're going to announce it when, and when we're going to announce it so both of those will be um on the screen and how do we enter well basically i want to know how to serve you okay so it just is going to you're going to do a quick survey and answer as truthfully as you possibly can as fully as you possibly can is all that i ask because i want to know what you want to see from me what i can do for you how i can best serve you is really really what i want to do so um you can find that survey link here okay so one entry per person and the rules will also be um uh, listed there as well okay so just i really really would appreciate taking time out to, to tell me a little bit about what you're going through and what you need to see from me how i can best support and help you okay so best of luck to you i hope you're enjoying your summer and we will certainly see see you uh, i hope to see see your information in the little survey i hope to see you enter and best of luck in the giveaway okay i'm excited all right that's it for me today and remember always again in order to change your life you must first change yourself thank you so much good luck and i'll see you this summer take care does this situation sound familiar? You are stuck at a job that you know you need to change. You're putting in long hours, or perhaps you're not getting enough hours. You're putting in a lot of your labor, a lot of your time, a lot of your passion, but you're just not feeling rewarded. You feel stuck. You feel as though you're financially drowning. 
and you know you need to change the job, but yet you are just not finding the energy, the time to get around to making this change. Or perhaps you've already made that first step. Perhaps you've recognized this fact and you're trying to move towards continuing that new business idea to finding and moving forward into getting the next level of job for you. But again, whenever it comes time for you to sit down and do the work that you need to do, you're finding that you just can't bring yourself to do it. And this puzzles you and it frustrates you and you just don't know what to do. Hi, my name is Keisha Dent. I'm a certified mindset hypnotist and the author of Life Change Now. And if this sounds like you in any sort of situation, I want you to know first and foremost that it's okay, okay? You're not broken. And this sort of behavior is something that is extremely common. And in fact, it's something that I deal with when I help clients a lot. And it's certainly something that I recognize that comes up a lot in my own life that I need to work through as well. So what exactly is this behavior and why is it so hard sometimes for us to do the things that we need to do? So first of all, again, I can't emphasize this enough, it's not because you're broken. You just simply have to understand how our incredible minds work. Your mind is your number one tool to enable you to get what you want in this life. But it also has another job, a more important job, a job that trumps all other things that you could possibly want, right? And that job is to keep you safe. That is your, your mind's numero uno, number one job to do. So whenever this happens, your safety, your comfort takes number one priority. And this can actually lead us into very conflicting behavior, okay? So in this video, I really quickly just wanted to give some examples on how self-sabotage actually shows up and what it could look like. And today we're talking about whenever you just want to avoid doing things, right? Whenever you know that you should do something, whenever you want to do something, but you're finding yourself resisting it and avoiding it. This is certainly one way that you know that self-sabotage could be at play, okay? Or what we commonly refer to as self-sabotage for simplicity's sake. And I'll, again, I'll explain to why a lot of people say that it technically doesn't exist. Um, but for the, for the sake of simplicity, well, the term that we refer to as self-sabotage, which is basically when we are getting in our own way and standing in our own way from what we actually want. So if you find yourself avoiding things that you really want to do, if you find yourself avoiding making changes, um, doing work or doing anything that is actually going to help you and benefit you, that you would desire, that you know you want, that you know is logically is going to to give you better things more money more freedom more happiness more joy more peace but you're avoiding yourself doing it then there could be a good reason for that now self-sabotaging behavior including avoidance including resisting things this happens when there is a battle or a tension between conscious desires on the one hand and unconscious perceived needs that you may have. And whenever there's a the conflict, you will get this very conflicted behavior where you may make some steps forward only to suddenly oh, inexplicably want to move back and go back to where you are, okay? And it's really important to understand that this is happening because your mind is trying to protect you. It's trying to keep you safe and there's something that is actually in, in where you're going that it sees threat in, okay? Now, a wonderful way to really get to the, the bottom of that is through hypnosis, but certainly that's not the only way that we, that we can do this, okay? So if you su suspect this, this is you, what can you do? Well, the first thing that's so important is, again, to be compassionate. And I know that this is one of the things that I struggle with personally, I, someone who can be very hard on myself. And I see that in other people and other clients. And it's really, really important. I love to be the voice that always tells you that it's so important to always understand that you're, it's, you're not broken, okay? This is simply your, your mind loving on you and wanting to keep you safe. And you've gone through a lot, okay? Human life is very traumatizing. It could be very traumatizing by the time we're, ch we're, ch we're children. And by that time, 
you have accumulated a long list of things that to avoid, okay? And this is even in a happy childhood, let alone someone who's had a very turbulent, abusive, and challenging childhood, okay? So it's really important to be compassionate and to, and to always know that just like with a little puppy, okay, just like beating on it and yelling at it and screaming at it is not going to get the best performance out of the puppy, praise gets the best performance out of the puppy. Give yourself credit and know that your mind is trying to do its best job, but just also know that you're going to give it different instruction. You're simply going to give it different instruction and praise it when it gets it right, okay? So the first thing, be compassionate. The second thing is to ask yourself, what could be scaring me or threatening me about this change that I most desire? And though on the surface, it may be like, well, I don't just don't know because I mean, if I do this, it's going to give me so much more uh, opportunity and freedom and power and happiness and time and money. Okay, well, that's the surface level. But if you really spend some time and dig deep, you can do this with a journal. You can simply do this by taking, setting a timer and setting aside a few minutes and just closing your eyes and really getting, getting calm and getting clear by asking yourself that question. What scares me about moving into this next level? What scares me about starting this business? What could I be resisting? What, could, what threat can be about moving into another job that pays more, moving into a different industry? or whatever change it is that you're looking to make. What threat could be there? What scares you? And another question is what needs may I need to have met where this job is threatening the, these needs, okay? And again, in addition to those other methods to do that, hypnosis and, and using a certified hypnotist such as myself is also a good way to really access, to get to the meat and potatoes of what it is that really that your mind is trying to protect you from, okay? It's very a very effective method to figure that out. Number three is to ask yourself the big why. Remind yourself the big why reasons. Why are you wanting to this change in the first place? Tap into the power of desire that's really drawing you forward, okay? So what is going to excite you about making this change, about getting this new job, getting this new income, all the freedom? Uh, what, what are you gonna be able to do more with your family or with that time? You know, why? Why, why, why are you doing this? And really tap into the fire of inspiration. And I'm kind of like a woo-woo person, a spiritual person. Like I love to, to kind of talk in, in elements. <laughs> Um, it's something I kind of got from tarot and astrology. I, I, those things I love, I personally love those things. But I, when I talk about the fire, I want to talk about like the natural, des the natural desiring element of, of your spirit. The thing that wants that lust after things that desires things that wants this and this and this, I want that. I want time. I want money. I want all of these things. The things that make you want to get up and start something. Okay. That's so important to tap into and so important to really, 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 uh, protect because that's your engine, right? That's the thing that's really going to move you forward. So I want you to really spend some time and really get inspired, connect with other people. That's what one aspect that connection and, and, um, different groups, social media, um, any sort of collaborative group that you can tap into where you can get inspired because sometimes we need our flame lit by other people. Okay. So when we are feeling a kind of uh, you know, you know what you need to do, but resisting it, we need the flame of other people to light us, to set us forth. Okay. So again, hypnosis is something that can make all of these things easier. These questions that we need to ask, and I would, would love to be able to work with you to really get to the, to the root and the cause of why you may be holding yourself back. Okay. So that is it for today. I hope that you're having a wonderful, wonderful uh, weekend. Happy Juneteenth. Happy summer solstice. It's a, a awesome week. It's also my birthday week, um, the summer solstice uh, baby. So um, this is also just a nice week. I hope you have a nice long weekend because of Juneteenth. I hope that the weather's cooperating and all these things. So um, I also wanted to let you know, if you want to go deeper into how to break self-sabotage on your own, you can check out my free Stop Holding Yourself Back video series, which is free with email sign up on my website, newworldhypnosis.com. Totally free. You can check it out there. 
And of course, if you'd like to go even deeper, reach out to me for a free consultation at any time. Okay, and you can reach me, of course, at newworldhypnosis.com and sign up for your free consultation. All right, and that is it for today. Enjoy your time. And remember always, in order to change your life, you must first change yourself. Thank you so much. And we will catch up next time. Take care.